So, I made a uh, hubby slam and stuff the other night, right? So, I just got a taste for some rice today. I was like, what can I do? I wanted to make, I had took this ground turkey out a couple of uh, nights ago. But I was like, what can I do with it? <gasps> meatloaf. <gasps> I haven't had meatloaf in so long, so I'm going to make ground turkey meatloaf. But I've uh, been a minute, so <laughs> let me look up a recipe and see what we can do, all right? my hands. Alright. Make sure I remember to tighten that up. You guys know, I don't know if everybody knows this, but um, my Gigi taught me that. The, I call it the blood pack at the bottom. That's where your smell comes in your trash cans. If you ever notice, you get that awful, like after a couple of days or so, if you leave <clears throat> these in there, um, that's where the smell's coming from because that's dry, that's the, the, the blood and stuff from the meat, I guess, that's soaked in and um, it's sitting. So, ew. So I, what I usually do is I take it and I put it in a, a, a closed up bag and then put it in the trash bag. I'll even use a zip bag. I don't care. I just don't want that smell. Touch it. Close it up. And since we got 500 million of these, <laughs> wait, I know what I'll do. Rinse this out. Like the, the meat smack maxi pack. <laughs> so we need. I don't do onions. Milk, egg, ketchup, and Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> Gonna say how much milk? What are the odds of having Worcestershire shots? <laughs> mm, I love your smells. I look good right there. Dry parsley, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. That man must have used it. <laughs> well, we'll just improvise. And 
pepper. Okay, that's ready. Some Himalaya pink. <clears throat> you guys, I was yesterday day old and I learned how to use these things. Mix it together well. Pour the meatloaf into a loaf pan. Spread it into a flat, even layer. made a glaze. Yes, maybe I did, but I don't really need a glaze. There's enough in the meatloaf. Ooh. Ah, it's cold. My hand freezing. Put some more breadcrumbs just in case we want it to stick together. Now, that he can pick between his, um, what do you call it, lamb stew <laughs> and this for a couple of days. And Valentine's is tomorrow. <sighs> well, at least the oven's getting preheated. Pretty well. And this will be ready by 6. It's 5 o'clock now. So it'll be ready at 6. Which is around the time I usually eat every day. Alright, that should 
be good. Should be good and stuck. No problem staying together. I'm gonna pour some of the rush sauce on top and that'll be the glaze. <laughs> oh, you know, I think I have a little brown sugar. I don't use it often. <clears throat> I think I have some. I don't think I threw it out. sugar in his house. <clears throat> Insulin levels in your body go up. And then you wonder why you got all the health problems. Because you got too much. Your body's running on sugar instead of... I'm back. <laughs> your body's burning sugar fuel instead of fat fuel. The way it's created to work. Another towel. <clears throat> A little flavor on top. Instead of brown sugar, cinnamon. Can never go wrong with the cinnamon. a lot of ketchup in this house but always have it to use it for different recipes since I don't eat fries like I used to I don't need it so. Come on, I haven't made meatloaf in probably four years. <laughs> take it out at we'll check on it about 40 minutes all right all right talk to you later all right you guys let's go and check on that meatloaf see what's going on in here flour in there too. Yes, indeed. Y'all 
we're ready to see what we've got. so good. Ooh. I think I'm gonna let it uncover it and let it cook for about 15, 10, 15 more minutes. Mm. It smell good, y'all. Oh my God. Right. I'll be back. All right, 15 minutes has passed. And it smells so good. <laughs> A brown loaf. There you have it. <laughs> and this is my cauliflower mix. vegetables is a bomb. <laughs> so there you have it. Din Din is served. <laughs> what are you guys going to eat? Let me know in the comments.